Today I want to show you a very dirty and moldy washer door boot seal. This one came into our store just the way you see it, and I tried a new item today for the first time and wanted to record it, and it had just fantastic results. So let's go ahead and clean this door boot seal together. These are some of the products we're going to use today. Low splash bleach, a rag, a plastic scrubber, some cleaning spray, and a secret item that we're going to use a little bit later in the video to talk about quite a bit. A word of caution though, we are dealing with harmful chemicals, so make sure to start off first by buying good rubber gloves when you go to the store. To start out, we not only see a ton of mold on the door boot seal, but there's a lot of gunk buildup in the folds of this door boot. So to start, we're going to make sure we put our gloves on, and once you have your preferred set of rubber gloves on, you're going to spray the seal down with your cleaning spray of choice, and then use the plastic scrubbing brush to physically remove any gunk that has not set into the seal. I used Lysol antibacterial spray, but there are many kinds of household cleaners that you could use that you may have at home. The key here is making sure to physically strip away any gunk that would bring odors and mold back. Make sure it's an antiviral and antibacterial spray. Again, I used Lysol in this case, but there's a lot of different brands that will work. The gasket is held on by two tense springs, so you can really dig into the seal and remove the gunk from all the little areas of the door boot seal. Since I already have my cleaning products out, I'm going to go ahead and clean the glass door off because there's a good bit of gunk on it at the bottom or could be a lot on yours at the bottom due to the small coin trap at the bottom of the gasket that tends to catch a lot of lint, soap, and other gunk. Now I didn't clean this in the best job and I can go over it later with another glass cleaner to make it really shine, but this pass is all about mold, mildew, and the worst defenders on a door boot seal. So far you can see here that the heavy scrubbing has made the seal look quite a bit better and cleaner, but there's still a lot of black moldy buildup on the seal that no matter what I would do normally would not go away. So now it's time to start in with the heavier secret cleaning products. I am now taking my low splash bleach and pouring it on the door boot seal, rubbing it in with my gloved hands. You could possibly use bleach spray in a bottle for a more uniform soaking, but I didn't want to over spray the bleach in the unit as Bleach tends to actually be pretty bad for metal in most washing machines, and I didn't want the overspray. Also, as I run my hands all over the door boot seal, applying the bleach, I'm finding tons of lint that got trapped in the rubber seal that didn't go away with scrubbing, especially at the top. You want to soak the entire seal with bleach, especially the areas where you have the worst of the black mold still apparent. Now with the door soaked, let's get to the secret item that we mentioned at the beginning of the video we want to use to try to get the mold to rip off. I've tried bleach and other things a hundred different times which can lighten the mold and the door seal but it never really eliminates it. The item we're using today that's special is called Pool Shock. This bag is designed to treat a 10,000 gallon pool with chlorine killing anything organic in the process but instead we're using a fraction of it to kill the mold in a 20 gallon washing machine. This was the only product they couldn't get locally and instead bought it off of Amazon and a link will be in the description if you need to buy it, but you could possibly find it locally depending on your location and availability of a pool supply store. With the bag being opened, I am taking small amounts of the granular pool shock and rubbing it into the door boot seal where I'm finding areas of mold using the bleach that we poured on the seal to act as a binder to keep the granular bits on the seal itself. In hindsight, I probably put too much pool shock on this. The first two or three handfuls should have probably been enough for the entire unit. Should have used less, but it worked really good given how concentrated this stuff is. But I didn't expect it to be as effective as, well, you'll find out in a few moments. Now be very careful with the pool shock because it has chlorine in it and high concentration levels. Don't want to get it anywhere on the machine outside of the door boot seals. Once I got done applying the pool shock, I went ahead and wiped down the outside of the machine where any metal made contact with the shock just to be safe. Now with the pool shock in the machine, you wanna wait and let it sit on the seal with the bleached binder for about 10 to 20 minutes to let it set in. Do not leave the pool shock sitting overnight or for any long multi-hour period of time because anything past 30 minutes, you'll start seeing it fade the door boot seal and turn it white. The chlorine can cause all kinds of problem, rusting the metal, and that's really what you want to watch out for if you let the pool shock sit for hours or days on end. Now I am taking a bucket of water and a rag and removing most of the pool shock granules from the unit to prepare the washer for a cleaning cycle after I let the granules soak in the door boot seal for about 30 minutes. Now off camera, I'm putting most of the granules in a plastic bag 
then wiping the seal down to spread the pool shock around. You don't want to remove like every single one of the granules, but I'm just trying to remove some of them at least so I don't overload the washer. Now once I have the seal generally wiped down, I'm throwing the bucket of water in, then moving the washing machine to my test area to run a cleaning cycle. When you're ready to go, put the washing machine in either a sanitized or tub cleaning cycle and run the full unit. I realized in the video I used a different mode like a sanitize, and I had to stop and correct that off screen when I had the actual tub cycle to clean it. You want to let the unit wash through the entire cycle. Be warned if you want to pause the machine and open the door during this stage, the water is going to be extremely hot because of the reaction between the concentrated chlorine in the pool shock and then the washing machine water. So again, be very, very careful. It got pretty steamy when we opened the door off camera. Now, when you get done with this first wash, if any of the pool shock crystals are still in the tub where the door boot seal is, you want to make sure to either physically remove them and put them in a plastic bag than a waste paper can or wash them out with an additional short cleaning cycle to make sure there's no leftover pool shock granules in the washing machine because you won't want to leave any of this because it could, you know, make the clothes get bleached out quite a bit. It would not be a good combo. But here's the results of just using this cheap little bit of pool shock. You can see that the before and after the mold has been totally removed from this side of the door boot seal and it looks just about brand new except maybe for an area or two on the right side where the crystals may not have set in as long as I wanted to. And you see that it did lighten up the door boot seal a little bit because we did let the machine set overnight on accident because we had some issues at our shop when we ran this test. Now at this stage of the video, I'm probably going to get a lot of complaints from people commenting about the fact that we did this on the unit with the door boot seal fully installed and there could be danger. Now if you have concerns about this, you can absolutely remove the gasket or the door boot seal from your unit, put it in a plastic tub with water, all covering the entire door boot seal, and then put the pool shock in, stirring it with a rod for about 30 minutes, then purging the shocked water, and then cleaning off the door boot seal with water. However, since every door boot seal has a totally different removal system and reinstallation method, I wanted to show you that doing this simply on the machine worked really, really well, because quite frankly, I wasn't even sure if this was going to work in the very beginning, because I did this test as you're watching it. I had no belief that this could work or not, so we tested it as it stood. And hopefully this gave you a good idea on how to take care of dangerous mold on your door boot seal. Remember that if you don't keep the washing machine door slightly open after each use and then wipe down the bottom of the seal where the coin trap is, the mold could come back. I'll also be uploading another video in the near future how to clean all the other parts of a washing machine through your regular maintenance because that's been often requested. I did it for a top load and we'll do it for a front load soon too. Make sure to subscribe for that and I hope you have a great day.